We're here in the Somerset House Courtyard at the Utopia Fair. The Utopia Fair is a collaboration between Somerset House and the AHRC's Connected Communities programme. The academics have been working with artists and a whole range of community groups to come together and reimagine how we might live better together. The Stories of Change project is trying to loosen up the public and political conversation about energy. The reason we need to do that is that we know we're going to have to act on climate change in coming years, but we know that people have become stalled in the way they think about the topic. Behind me we've got the letterpress and rubber stamping workshop where people are making their own pamphlets to feel that they've got their own voice in how we might have a future with energy that doesn't cost the earth. The other element that we brought to the Utopia's Fair is a workshop where they get plasticine, Lego and some sketching pencils and they literally make up the future. We're going to take both the questions and the answers to senior decision makers in government departments not far from here. You're looking at a house about loneliness, loneliness in older people. We got a place where we found people who were willing to talk about their loneliness. The essence of what they said is translated into performance. To get people thinking about loneliness, to get them aware and recognise that loneliness is an issue and something needs to be done. The Connected Communities programme has been going since 2010 and in that time it's done some really interesting things. So it's built a whole cohort of researchers and community partners who know how to work together to really build new sorts of knowledge. It's about saying how do we imagine the futures that we want to see in the world and what do we have to do in order to make them happen. Also it's asking questions like what's not right by the, in the way that our communities currently work, what needs to change, how might we do things differently. Our stall is called Spaces of Descent. We are asking a question to everyone participating in the Utopia Festival. What should our next referendum be about? Considering that the referendum that has just happened has created such division within our country, society, communities. I'm Philip and I'm a volunteer with the Restart Project and we're a social enterprise and a, and a, um, a charity which helps people to get greater life out of their, their gadgets. I heard a statistic recently, the e-waste produced in this country in one year would fill six Wembley stadiums. That's absolutely incredible. This game is my personal favourite. Basically enables us to open up that conversation about resilience in game form. So then as workers and helpers and the wider community, we can help the um, young people to engage and become more resilient themselves. I'm on the protein pressure stool. Protein is found in so many plants as well as meat and typically we think protein, we think meat, but we find protein in jacket potatoes, nuts, seaweed, broccoli, pulses, legumes. So in terms of feeding the world more sustainably, we should all broaden our protein horizons. One of the things that's been hugely important for us is to make the case for the arts and the creative industries as the part of society that helps us paint pictures of how the world might be, that gives us the space where we are given permission to let our imaginations run free. Our project was to create Nottingham's first black history mural. We were surprised Nottingham didn't have a colourful, rebellious um, community, public artwork celebrating this rebel city. It has one of the largest black populations outside London. It's a way, to, in a very public way, to celebrate a piece of history that sometimes gets marginalised, uh, Britain's black history. We work with people with dementia from all stages and we deliver arts interventions with them and then we use a range of outcome measures to try and understand the impacts on their well-being. So the postcards that you can see uh, is a result of one of the artist's practices and she brings children together with people with dementia to try and think about dementia-friendly futures and uses art and drawing to make that more accessible. Using artists and the techniques that they have kind of brings people out themselves a bit more than maybe more traditional approaches and we've had people say my father was not interested in anything for the last two years and I'm amazed that you've got him to participate so actively in such an intervention. 
It's great to come to an event where colleagues I might have bumped into at an academic conference have kind of let their hair down, making our 8,000 word journal article free to access. It's not a great example of openness. We need to appear much more open to a conversation, much more open to playfulness actually. And I think the fair does that brilliantly.